Hey, what's up everybody? Hammerheart Metal Reviews here once again. Today we're going to do something a little bit different, just have a little bit of fun. I've been just reminiscing lately about the last time I was actually able to go to a concert. It's been so goddamn long with this whole pandemic. I think the last concert I was at was Iron Maiden Legacy of the Beast Tour in 2019, which was awesome. And I've just really been really wanting to go to a concert again, so I'm hoping things start up again soon. I know they are in some places, but like where I live, we don't get a ton of concerts. Anyways, I'm living in uh, Manitoba in Canada. For a while, we're getting some pretty big name concerts and we get a lot of touring bands come through, but we don't necessarily get a high volume. And especially now with the whole COVID thing, it's been a very long time since we've had anything of interest to me come through town. So I just thought, hey, let's do some going back in time, thinking about all the concerts I've been to over the years and maybe ranking my top 10 favorite band performances from concerts that I've seen. So I went through, I used to collect all my ticket stubs. So I've got a whole bunch of those that I'll show, just kind of run through some shows that I've been at over the years. Of course, in the last like 10 years or so, they don't really give out ticket stubs anymore. Most of those were electronic. So I don't necessarily have every ticket stub of every concert I've ever been to, but I'll go through some from like quite a while ago. And then I'll get into my top 10 list of my favorite concerts ever. And anyways, I'd love to hear yours down below as well. Let me know what your favorite concerts were ever. What was the band you always wanted to see and then you finally did and they blew your socks off. I'd love to hear those kind of things down in the comments. But anyways, to kick this off, I'm just going to kind of run through some uh, concert ticket stubs that I have from over the years. And uh, yeah, let's have a little bit of fun. So this first one from 2005, this was one of the first times that I saw Exhumed. And they were fucking awesome. Just absolutely killed it. Put on such an awesome show. Definitely one of my favorite bands to this day. And absolutely awesome live band. Here we've got uh, Cannibal Corpse. Definitely seen them about five or six times. Uh, they might be in my top 10 concerts, not this one specifically, but uh, yeah, that one was from 2005 and it's fucking killer as usual. Here is the first time I saw Ozzy Osbourne. That was from 2002. This was on the um, Down to Earth tour. I did actually have the pleasure of seeing him again a few years ago on his farewell tour before COVID hit. Uh, me and my wife actually traveled out to Toronto to see a Blue Jays game and then Ozzy was playing the same weekend so it worked out fucking awesome that concert was even better than the 2002 one because he played all the old hits absolutely phenomenal fucking awesome here I've got uh, Arch Enemy not really so much into them these days but it was a good concert at the time here I've got Children of Bodom that was a fucking killer show especially when they were headlining I saw them a few times just opening up other concerts but seeing them headline was pretty cool because they played a lot more of the older stuff that I'm more of a fan of and it's fucking awesome here of course I mean there's got to be a Metallica in here somewhere I actually only saw Metallica live one time this is back from uh, yeah 2009 so definitely in their later stages but they still put on a hell of a show played a lot of old classics it was fucking definitely worthwhile to go here, Pantera from 2001. This was when I was still barely hanging on to my teenage years here. I was, uh, yeah, 17 years old, seeing one of my favorite bands at the time, and that was fucking killer. Morbid Angel was supposed to open the show, but they weren't allowed across the border for some reason, so that kind of was a downer. But nonetheless, seeing Pantera was fucking awesome for my teenage self, and it still holds up to this day as a great concert. Here's another Cannibal Corpse one. Won't talk too much about that because I've seen them a bunch of times. Here was just an absolutely amazing show. Hate Eternal, Crisian, and Incantation, and Into Eternity, all on the same bill. Fucking killer lineup. Absolutely awesome show. Demu Borgir, that one's fucking awesome as well. I'm surprised that one didn't make my top 10 because that was an absolutely killer show. One of the few times I've seen Opeth, that one was awesome as well. They will be on my top 10 list, but not this one. This was the all acoustic show that I saw them do, which was pretty fucking cool. But uh, yeah, I prefer their heavier set, which will be in my top 10. Uh, here's Testament headlining, fucking absolutely killer. I fucking love these guys, one of the best thrash bands around. Here's another Exhumed one, fucking killer concert as usual. Deicide. Saw them a few times as well. This one is fucking cool. Uh, here we got LUVT, most notably because Winter Sun was opening up. This is when Winter Sun was just up and coming. They only had the one album at the time, and fuck, whoo, 
just seeing them open. They only did like 20 minutes there, which was like three songs, but whoo, blew me away. I've seen them headline too. I'm sure that's in here somewhere. Here's another Opeth, fucking awesome. Iced Earth and Symphony X. That was a fucking killer show. Absolutely amazing. Cataclysm, Origin, Flesh God, Apocalypse. Fuck. So many good concerts I've been to. I've been lucky here. Actually, we get quite a bit of stuff up in Manitoba here. Black Dahlia Murder and Exhumed. Here's Pagan Fest 2013 with Ensephirum, Tear, Heidevolk, uh, Troll Fest, Winter Sun Headlining with Flesh God Apocalypse and Arsis as support. Here's another Exhumed with Dying Fetus. Fuck. Great show. Uwada, one of the more contemporary black metal leaders. This one's one of the more recent concerts that was here, 2018. Definitely on the newer side of things. Here's another kind of recent one, 2017, was Belphegor and Cryptopsy. It's fucking awesome. Uh, here's some old school, Sebastian Bach playing solo, doing all the old Skid Row stuff. That was fucking cool. This one, Metal Alliance Tour. This was a fucking amazing show. Just the lineup in itself should be in my top 10. But Behemoth, Goat Horde, 1349, Inquisition, all on the same fucking show. Wow, that was fucking insane. So much good black metal that night. Woo, awesome. Manitoba Metal Fest, was gruesome was the headliner. Fucking awesome. Disciples of Power. Another Hate Eternal, Origin, Vital Remains. Come on, just a night of death metal. That was amazing. Gigantour with Megadeth, seen Megadeth five or six times. Canadian Carnage, Slayer, and Megadeth. Judas Priest with Opener's Testament, fucking awesome. And of course, Iron Maiden, seen them three times. But uh, yeah, we'll see where they land on my top 10. So those are just some that I've been at, not into my actual top 10 yet at all. This video's <laughs> rambling on. Sorry for, in, for making this very self-indulgent. I'm just having fun going through these old uh, tickets, it's awesome. Some other ones that didn't quite make my top 10, but that I have seen, but don't have ticket stubs for. I saw Sonata Arctica. That was really fucking cool. Um, it's, man, it's so hard to just remember all these. Let's just get into the top 10 before this video goes on way too fucking long. So yeah, coming in at number 10, I'm going with the first time that I saw Ensophirum, which was in 2011. It was at a place called The Zoo in Winnipeg, which is just a little, small, little club. And I fucking love seeing bands like this in a small club because it's just awesome. So much sing-along stuff here. It was just fucking great. Actually, Fin Troll was here as well and Rotten Sound. Just a really great fucking concert. But Ensophirum knocked my socks off. Just put on a great live show. That's why it's cracking my top 10. Up next at number 9 from 2005. It's the first time that I saw Deicide. This was on the, um, yeah, what's that album called? The Stench of Redemption. Yeah, Jack Owen from Campbell Corpse had just joined the band, which was funny because I had just seen Campbell Corpse right before this, and there was no Jack Owen, so I was kind of disappointed. But then Deicide came, and Jack Owen was there. So I was like, oh, that's pretty fucking cool. I still get to see Jack Owen playing with Deicide, and this was just a great fucking concert. They blew me away. Glenn Benton was walking around the club earlier and they were playing like dance music in between bands. And my buddy like yelled at him. He's like, Glenn, turn off this shit. He walked over to the soundboard and just shut it all down. And then they played metal after that. It was fucking awesome. Just stands out in my mind. He's such a funny dude. Great fucking concert. Up next at number eight. So it's kind of a unique one. I never had the pleasure of seeing death, but I did get to see death to all, which is basically former members of death doing the tribute to Schuldner. So when I saw them here, DeGiorgio was playing bass, Gene Hoagland on drums, uh, was it Bob Lee Quimble? I don't know how to say his name, the guitarist that played on Symbolic, he was playing guitar, and I can't remember who was doing vocals, but he did a pretty fucking solid job, and all in all, just see all the old Death songs, it was fucking amazing, I know it's not Chuck Schuldner, it's not the same thing, but it's still just that good of an experience to see DeGiorgio and Hoagland just Fucking ripping it up. It was absolutely awesome. Obituary was on the bill as well. Who else was there? Um, Massacre, of course. Rivers of Nile. Just like, yeah. Fucking killer show. For sure. Up next at number seven. I'm going with the first time that I saw Megadeth from 2004. It's always the first time that you see a band that really sticks in your mind. Like, yes, I've seen Megadeth probably six or seven times. But the first time I saw them was on the System Has Failed tour. And they just blew me away. It was fucking in a bigger... Th 
theater as opposed to a small club. But obviously, Megadeth's not going to play a small club in 2004. But man, they just killed it. Dave Mustaine sounded great. The guitars just fucking blew me away. Absolutely one of the best concerts I've ever been to. Number six. The first time I saw Cannibal Course was at a little club called the Royal Albert. Capacity is only like 200 people there. And it was packed as fuck in there. The mosh pit was insane. Like I had mentioned, uh, Jack Owen had just left the band. So they had a like substitute guitar player, which was actually Jeremy Turner from Origin. Guy can shred. The rest of Cannibal Course was the normal members that were there for a long time. The Corpse Grinder just fucking nailed it. Blew me away playing on this little small stage. The mosh pit was so nuts. I got pushed into like this huge fucking beam that was in the middle of the floor because this place is just set up so stupid. Just killed my back. Could barely even talk, but it was still just worth it. Such a goddamn good show. Easily in my top 10. Up next at number five, one that I don't have a ticket stub for because I just can't find it or maybe it was electronic, I can't remember, but it was Absu playing at another small little club in Winnipeg and wow, they blew me away. There was not even very many people there at all. They were playing to a crowd of like 50 people, which was sad. It was on a Sunday night though, so a lot of people probably didn't want to go, but holy fuck, Prescriptor McGovern drumming and doing vocals, it just floored me. I was just like in awe. And then they close out the set by playing Stone of Destiny, which is one of my favorite tracks. And Prescriptor got off the drums, got one of the roadies to come in and play drums. And then he just stood and did vocals, doing the high King Diamond-esque falsetto. Absolutely amazing. Easily one of my favorite concerts, even though there was like barely anyone there. They still just fucking killed it. They didn't let up because of a lack of attendance. They were still just in your face. Fucking awesome. Up next at number four, I'm going with the first time that I saw Enslaved. This was from 2013, and yeah, uh, Paul Bearer opened up the night, and this was on the Axioma Ethico Dini Tour, I believe. Actually, no, sorry, this ticket stub is from the Retier um, Tour. I saw them previously on the Axioma Ethico Dini Tour, and they were playing with Alcest, which was a fucking killer bill. That was just awesome. Yeah, Enslaved, one of my favorite bands of all time. It's just going to make this list pretty much by shock and awe. Basically, as soon as I just saw them performing, I was just in awe the whole time. It's like speechless, getting a little bit of the fanboy shit going on. I was like, ah, I can't even talk. I can't even do anything. It's just so fucking good. Absolutely amazing. Easily one of the best concerts I've ever been to. Up next at number three, I'm going with the first time that I saw Opeth. This was in 2006. This was on the Ghost Reveries tour. Uh, I have seen Opeth a few times. Sometimes they've had good openers, sometimes not, but the openers don't matter. This was the first time I saw them, and this was when they were still like progressive death metal, so they were still screaming and playing a lot of fucking great old songs. Like it was just an awesome set list. Couldn't have really asked for much better. They even played like God's Head, Godhead's Lament, which I was like, are you fucking serious? This is awesome. It's one of my favorite tracks ever. Just fucking blew me away absolutely floored by them one of the best live bands especially in that era fucking great now my top two i do not have ticket stubs for these but uh, that's just how it goes number two is the first time that i saw iron maiden it was around 2004 2005 on the somewhere back in time tour which was fucking absolutely amazing this is the same tour that they actually filmed flight 666 on so that whole set list, if you've seen that movie and it has the live DVD, that is the exact set list that they played and I could not ask for anything better. Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, get to see that the first time that I see Iron Maiden. Jesus, one of my favorite all-time bands and they're playing like my favorite goddamn song. The set list was fucking insane. Like this could have easily been my number one concert and it was for a very long time. Absolutely amazing playing all the classics. It's still like to this day is absolutely amazing. Have seen Maiden, yeah, three times now. I saw the Somewhere Back in Time tour. Then I saw the Final Frontier tour. And then I saw the Legacy of the Beast tour, which was the most recent concert I've been to. But that just leaves one. My favorite concert that I've ever been to is actually the shirt I'm wearing, Blind Guardian. I actually had to travel out of Manitoba to go see Blind Guardian, which maybe is what makes it a little more special because it's not just like going to my local pub or not pub. Obviously, they wouldn't be playing a pub, but a local venue that I've been to a hundred times. I actually drove down to Minneapolis in the States because they were playing there. They weren't coming to Canada other than like Toronto and Vancouver, but it made a lot more sense to go to Minneapolis. And me and my buddy drove down there, 
We were so fucking pumped. It was a nice road trip, even just crushing metal tunes the whole way down. So that's what pumps up this whole experience making my number one concert is because it's like a week long thing where we're traveling, drinking beer, just having a good fucking time. But then the concert itself, wow, blew me away. This was on the Beyond the Red Mirror tour right after the album came out. And they just killed it. Like, yeah, maybe they're getting up there in age, but Hanzi still fucking kills it. Musicianship was off the charts. So much sing-along parts for the whole crowd just getting into it. It was fucking amazing. No band does it better to have, like, the whole place singing a song. Like, they play the Bard song. Hanzi basically just holds the fucking mic out and everyone sings along. Fucking amazing. Easily my number one concert experience of all time. Anyways, I've been rambling here. This video went on a little longer than I wanted, but it's just to have some fun, just reminiscing because I am in dire need of going to another concert. I miss it so goddamn much. I need some live music in my life. But yeah, let me know down below what's the best band you've ever seen live. What are your favorite concert experiences? Just love to chat about this anyways. And until next time, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Have a heart metal reviews. Out!